okay guys welcome back to the channel and this is gonna be my last video on rachel rance is tricky with rachel harper and her interviewing candy birds about uh, several things and i'm sure if you watch my first two videos you'll know what was talked about in this particular interview but now we're going to be talking about when rachel asked her about the group that she was a part of of escape and were they going to be touring again? I don't know where that picture came from. But it is what it is. Okay, guys. <laughs> but that was when all three of them were good. But they're no longer good anymore. But we're moving on to this next session. Now, Karen knows she's wrong. She knows she is so wrong. She's stopping those girls' bags. Because she feels that... Um, it's just too much. The group is too much. I'm like, no, Candy. The group is fine. It's you and your big ego. Uh, those girls can sing. And I'm just talking about the Scott sisters. And really, Tiny Cotel, um, T.I.'s wife, she can sing better than you, Candy. So, I, I don't know. You, I, like I said, you're a background singer. And I, stay, I said it. And I ain't changing my mind. Because the proof is in the pudding when you listen to all of you all's vocals. And you hate to give those two sisters, the one that's really in the front and the one that's behind her uh, without the hat. Uh, those sisters can sing, meaning the one father's to your left and the one in the middle that Candy and Tamika, uh, Tiny, you know, are next to. Uh, girlfriend can blow. The one that's to the left on this particular show uh, a picture and the one that's on the right of this photo those women can blow gospel rhythm and blues jazz they got it they they are like god-given talents they gave god gave them that voice candy she has to work on hers and even though she's tried throughout the years she will still be a uh doo-wop girl uh, what do you call it? A background singer. And that's to Latasha, I believe. And that's um, Tamika. And where's Tiny Picture? It should be coming up. Oh, no. That's uh, one of the. Who is that? That's Tamika. Yeah, that's Tamika Scott. And that's uh, Jermaine Dupree. He was kind of putting them out when they were together. But one of the sisters had put a rumor out that Candy, uh, that sister was supposedly had put a rumor out that Candy slept with Jermaine Dupree's dad, which was a lie from what they said. But I think Candy really felt that uh, Tamika's sister Latasha had put it out. The one that can really sing, sing. But uh, Tamika Tiny, uh, not Tamika Tiny, but Tiny uh, Kodal or Tamika Kodal, uh, but we know her as T.I.'s wife, Tiny, you know, former uh, member of the group Escape. She's the only one that can get candy in order. And I mean from one, two, three, three, two, one. She is the only one that can get candy together and break her down and make her see the truth for what it is. Because you remember when they had it, let's kicking it with Escape or whatever, that little show. Candy 86 that idea because she didn't like how they were editing her. And she didn't want to film anymore with her with them because the ratings and the, um, the uh, viewpoints of the fanatics or fans of the show... They were really coming down hard on Candy. Because Candy was actually showing them what she really felt. She didn't want to dance. She didn't want to sing certain arrangements. She was just a problem child throughout the whole thing. And Tamika had to set her straight. Like, baby, do you want to do this or you don't? Let us know. In other words, we'll replace you in a heartbeat. We'll go on with us three. We escape three. And we're going to leave you in the dust. And, you know, when Candy always talks, she always says, that's my group. That's my group. No, you were in a group, Candy. Same as Tiny. Same as the two Scott sisters. Y'all made up one group, okay? With different personalities and different ranges of vocals. But, honey, like I said, if it weren't for a Tiny, her giving accolades to candy to be on real housewives of atlanta candy wouldn't have the pool that she has now 
So I was like, girl, Tamika didn't stop your bag. She gave you a bag. And now you don't even want the two sisters to, you know, outdo you or whatever. Because people are going to know if they forgot. They're going to know when them uh, girls open up their voices and start singing who is the real talent when it came to escape. Okay. So I'm like, girl, Candy, you a hot mess. You really don't let things go, do you? Don't let things go with the um, Phaedra and Sholay let things go with the Scott sisters, okay? Who was the heart and soul of the escape? I don't care what nobody say. That's just my perspective. That's just how I view it. Others can say other things or whatnot. But I'm like, Candy is a very good, damn good songwriter. Uh, she just a good producer. Arrangements and stuff like that. And she definitely, I haven't really seen her act. Uh, but evidently, she got a part in a, in a, a sitcom. Um, they must like her or whatnot. But she didn't want to get these girls to show where they can make more money and things like that. She's like, oh, we ain't doing this show. Because Bravo had produced that. And they wanted to see more. But it didn't show Candy in a good light. You see what I'm saying? It made her seem more uh like the boy who cried wolf all the time where she was more being seen as a bully and wanted people to uh feel sorry for her and this that and the third because of these girls a vocal ability and the ranges that they can get with their vocals but like i said y'all heard how i felt about it but can be right now stopping people bad she be saying she don't but it only if if somebody asks you about somebody and they really hold you in high regard to them asking you a question about another individual uh and you say something kind of not kosher but like nice nasty they're gonna be like well okay we don't need to fool with them we're gonna move on to this other person and you like i you, you go out there and say well i didn't say anything i didn't stop nobody bad i don't have control yes you do in a certain degree if a person comes to you and they want to employ certain people that you have been around that you have worked with and if you don't say anything good about them they're gonna be like okay they're gonna say okay maybe it's a little jealousy there but i respect her business uh her business mind so i'm not gonna go with that person so same thing with nene <laughs> you be nice nasty and her you will talk about what y'all got into and this that and the third and you'll be like well i ain't mad at her i ain't this that but you'll say something nasty about her like did you really have to tell us that you saw nene on the beach and she didn't acknowledge you did you really have to say that no you didn't but you do you do shit like that can and, you know, you don't think we'd be paying attention, but you do nice, nasty shit like that. And if you really had to call a spade a spade, we're going to call you a spade. You just as messy as the rest of the uh, women. You just try to throw the rock and hide your hand. Just like you sit and tote information back. That's why we call you the bone collector on the Real Housewives of Atlanta. But I don't know how you and uh, Sheree going to work it out. Because both of y'all, that's all y'all do would be taking messages back from conversations that y'all were privy of being around. So... That would be very interesting to see. But now that you know what I feel about uh, what Candy did, I'm going to let you hear it. And then you make your opinions. And then we will close out the video. So here we go. Have you wrote any new songs recently? Actually, I wrote a whole bunch of songs. I just don't ever release them. I don't know why. I just haven't. Are you going to ever give them to anybody and pass them? You Do know what? Then? It's so funny. I, I hit up um, Ari Lennox recently, and I was I told her I had some songs I wanted to send her. I haven't sent them yet, but I'm going to go ahead and send them because I was like, you know what? It, it don't make sense for these songs to just be sitting in my hard drive like this. Like, it's some really dope records, and I love her as an artist, so I, I'm going to send her a couple of CDs. Anybody else? Um, Yeah, I mean, I like a lot of artists. That, I mean, I like Chloe. I mean, I love what she's doing. You know what I mean? Um, who else out that I'm really feeling their music? It's, it's a lot of people. I just listen to Apple playlists all day, so it's like whoever on there. I, oh, I mean, I love her, of course. Mm -hmm. And um, Jasmine Sullivan, I love her as well. I mean, it's a lot Do of you people. Still, you think you still got the pen, the pen gift, huh? Oh, for sure. Oh, you out here with it. I mean, for <laughs> sure. Like, that's something I'm confident in. Like, you can say a lot of things about me, but... You cannot say that I can't write a write a dope record. Like, <laughs> like said, that's say what you want. Gonna take away from me. You can't take that away from me. Like, you can give me a B at any moment, and I'm gonna be able to come up with something that's gonna be like, oh, okay. Yeah. Um, for Escape, you plan ever 
um, putting some songs with our group. Yeah. Um, we haven't really been talking about that lately. Um, right now, we have more shows coming up. So, like... I know. Oh, Wait, okay. real quick. Why don't you... Why do you miss some of the shows sometimes? Like... Okay, so here's the thing. They started Escape 3, mm-hmm. which is just them without me. And then, you know, ex- you know, Escape was just all four of us together. Now, obviously, I film a lot of whatever shows... So sometimes they get offers to do concerts and I'm not able to do them and they still want to do them. So if they still want to do them, like I'm not there, to, I'm not trying to hold anybody back from making money. You know what I mean? So they still do the shows. But don't you have to still get a cut? Because no, because if it's escape three, they let you know it's the three of them coming to do their thing. So were you, you're okay with escape three? Yeah, I mean, I think what it is is um, because this is what we have, this is now what we have come accustomed to. You know what I mean? Like when we got back together a few years ago and did the tour, it was phenomenal. We had a sold out tour across the country or whatever. But obviously we all are doing different things. And I've been doing a lot of filming lately. Like now even I'm still, I'm filming on the shy right now for season five. You know, I just finished season 14 of Housewives and right before I started um, Housewives I was doing um, Candy and the Gang so I've been back to back filming so it's not really fair to stop them from making money you know what I'm saying so but when they first came to it though you didn't like even think like okay Escape 3 like come on like what's going on well y'all tripping (laughs) (laughs) I think what happened when they first did it well obviously okay before we uh, came back together as you know, a whole group for that tour, what was that, four or five years ago? Five years ago, I think? Like five. Five years ago, something like that. Um, before that, they were already doing shows with just the three of them. And that, at that time, I think they was just doing it with just Escape because I hadn't performed with the group before then, like for a long time. So then when we came back and did the tour, um, you know, I, I had fun. You know, we all enjoyed it or whatever, but they wanted to do some more music but at the time, I wasn't really agreeing with that because I I still didn't feel like we was all on the same page at the time. And then I went, that was when I went to do Broadway. I went to do... Um, yeah. But then I had went to perform in uh, Chicago on Broadway. So they had some more shows that was coming in because obviously the tour went so well. There was a lot of promoters still wanted Escape for shows. So they were like, okay, well, we're going to continue doing shows as Escape 3. You can't do them. So oh, well. Yeah, oh, well. (laughs) And I, you know, of course you want to be there. I mean, of course I would love to have been there or whatever. But at the same time, I'm realistic and I have a realistic view of how life goes. I'm not going to be stopping my group mates from making money. Like, Mm -hmm. that's not fair to them. So I'm like, I have other opportunities that I still want to do and chase or whatever. And if that is blocking, I don't want to block nobody else's blessing. You know what I mean? So we could do the shows that we can do together. We do them. The ones that we can't, if they choose to do them with just the three, they do. As long as now, so, but is that has to be the Escape 3 promoter. It can't be like, who's the, like, who's the, like, the Beyonce and Escape? Like, who's the, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> who is, who is the one you think out of all y'all? What you mean? Like, what do you want? It's an easy question, Candy. You know, Beyonce has, is, Destiny Child, okay? Okay. And but Destiny our Child, group, wait, our no, group no. is a little different. No, no, let's go. Let's go. Because in every single group, though, there's always that one that, you know what I'm saying, is like, bam, bam you know? <laughs> yeah, yeah, tell the truth, right, Candy. Well, I mean, I don't know. Okay, so the reason why I say our group is a little different because everybody in our group, we sing lead. You know what I mean? So, I mean, it's a difference. Like, on all our hits, you know, it's different people singing. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? It's not like it's one person that's singing all the hits, you know? Um, Which, you know, I love this show. You know, I worked with them before. They're amazing. Yeah. We're talking about you, Candy. um, One person who was mainly in the front. And they did. The other, other ladies of the group did have their time to shine as well. But the majority of the time, you know, Beyonce was the one who was out in front, which is no no shade or anything but. yeah but i'm saying so we kind of look at our group different in a way because it's not supposed to be okay. about one person basically great so all, that's all nice and good politics ah! right right <laughs> get a rachel highly requested person in escape <laughs> what you mean like uh as far as no, like, see she know, getting mad she don't want to be saying it who, who 
who's, who's the best singer on this game? Yeah, Let's who's the best singer? Who? Who? I mean, everybody got different favorites. I. Like growing up, uh, Tamika Scott was always my favorite because I okay. love how strong her voice is. Like she got that real church with that hard church mm-hmm. voice. I mean, a lot of people love Tasha because you know she could do all those dope riffs and everything. Uh, a lot of people love Tiny. You know, see, she Tiny don't really want to answer the question. And Tiny hit that note at the end of tonight. Everybody be going crazy. You know yeah. what I mean? So it's like it depends on who you ask. Got it. Yeah. She said, I'm just going to go with everybody. I'm going to go eat each one because this is what I'm going to do. Well, no, I mean, there, yeah. I told you who my favorite voice was. Mm-hmm. That is Tamika, but that's my favorite. But, I mean, everybody else have different favorites. You know what I mean? Yeah. And so you don't think that you guys ever put out an album or anything? Um, <laughs> You know, it was back and forth. But sometimes we talked about it. Sometimes we don't. We talk about it, we don't. I personally... I feel like a lot of times when it comes to groups that had huge, huge hits back in the day, a lot of times I feel like people want to see you perform then and they check for your own music. It's like a lot of times they're not necessarily waiting for the new music for some reason. And so to me, I'm like, I don't really know if I want to really just come back together. And we honestly, we don't always see eye to eye on certain things no of candy course, like, you don't four different you know what i'm saying <laughs> opinions like, and it goes up to put ourselves through all of that when really what the people want to see they want to see us on stage together they want to you know they love our old songs or whatever whatever like when you just, i don't know that's just my opinion i mean but you guys do honestly i did see you i was at that tour and y'all did kill it though thank you you know when you're at the state was that the staples uh huh. Yeah, 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 right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah I was on the sideline. I'm like, oh yeah, they still going up, up. Thank you. So, um, for you with your life as far as juggling the kids and all that stuff, mm-hmm. how do you do like advice for the whole mommy thing? Like, how do you juggle? Okay, and that was pretty much it. You could see she was avoiding, evading. The simple question was, who do the people want to come see blow them away? Instead of her just saying, the Scott sisters, hands down, but me and Tiny, we can rock it too. You know, just something like that. But she wasn't giving up. She was holding that bone close to her, honey. She was like, mm, man, we all can sing. We ain't finna put myself down. And I was like, candy, 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 girl. But anyway. That's all how I felt about the video. So y'all get down in the comments. And let me know what y'all thought about what Candy said to Raquel about her famous group that she belonged to. Okay. And I'll see y'all next video. Good night.